Hey guys, Jade Arrow here once again with the second game between Doubt and MBL. Doubt is playing in the blue as the Ethiopians, and MBL is in the magenta as the Celts. And this is Seize the Hump. This is a very interesting map. And I... I think I would have to favor the Celts in this situation because the Ethiopians are more lean toward archers. Their archers fire faster and everything else they don't really get. You can see no paladin, no champions, no hand cannons, and it's mostly just towards their archers. They do have good siege. But the Celts have better siege. And the Celts also have faster infantry. They've got uh, free. Or not free, but they uh, cut faster. So I think I would have to favor the Celts in this situation. Their eco bonus is a lot better than the Ethiopians. Ethiopians, the only eco bonus they have is when they advance to the next stage, they get 100 food and 100 gold. Which isn't really all that great of an eco bonus, comparatively speaking to other civs. <clears throat> but Abigail's gonna go out to the middle way early, and that's where he's gonna build his lumber camp. Doubt being a bit safer, building his back at home, but. He's only got, like, what, 10 trees next to his lumber camp, which, not ideal. And Miel's built his in a good spot. It's next to a large wood line, and he's also got some berries right next to him, if he wants to get that. But you really don't see much of water control, which I would honestly love to see some demos see some big shots on either the archers from Doubt or the Siege from MBL. I think would be pretty good to see. I don't actually know if either of these civs get heavy demo. Uh, Ethiopians don't and the Celts do. Okay. So, it's probably not likely, though, because they're probably going to focus all their resources into uh, the other military they have and try and get an advantage that way. It's really only going to be excess resources that they'll be using for demos. And Down is going to come out here to this gold, and that is the only gold he has scouted. And he doesn't know that MBL is right here. So it's, we're probably going to see a fight over this area. And I think Doubt would probably have an advantage if he gets to the top of this hill with his faster firing archers and just fires downhill. So it really depends. I think MBL can take more fights more confidently, but if Doubt gets in the right position, then he could do a lot of damage. So, it's going to be up to how these players take their fights, is really what it's going to come down to. And MBL is setting a lot of villagers out to the middle, whereas Doubt has only got his gold miners out here. And Doubt has scouted this barracks. He knows that MBL's here. I don't know if MBL knows Doubt's here. Oh, he does. He sees that with his barracks. So both players know that each other's here. And MBL's going out to the middle now. Doesn't have a barracks back at home. So he's going to need to build one on the front here. And Doubt doesn't have one at home either. Oh, his barracks right there. What am I saying? We, we saw MBL's barracks there. 
tell you, sometimes, sometimes as a caster, you just see things and completely ignore it, and you just feel dumb. <laughs> There's really no other way to explain it. And Daryl's got his at home as well. I probably saw that, but I didn't. If that makes any sense. You know, you know when you are looking at something, and... Okay, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. If you're looking for a book, for anybody that reads, like me, for anyone who actually reads books, uh, if you're, like, looking for one on your shelf, you can't find it, and then you go back later and try and find a different book, and it's right where you were, right where you were looking before, but you had no idea it was there. Yeah, that, that happens a lot with me, so I'm sorry if I completely miss something, and in the comments you're all just like, What are you talking about? It was right there! How did you not see that? Well, there's actually a scientific thing for that. It's called inattentive blindness. And not to get all too sciencey on here, we didn't come for this whole science lecture. We came to watch these two powerhouses smack each other around a bit in this game. But that's what it's called. It's inattentive blindness. It's where you just completely miss something that was right in front of your face. Um, now you just come out here with some man at arms. And, ooh, that was barely getting that quick wall up. Nice job for him. And double archer range for him. He's going into double archers. MBL. He's got the archer range in defense. Gonna be coming out with a few skirms. And smarts on his own. He's also towered this gold. So he's forced out away. And the bad thing for him is Doubt hasn't scouted any other gold. He probably assumes there's some up here, but he doesn't see it. And he doesn't know where to go. So, he didn't lose his scout earlier, when MBL came through with those banner arms. But he's gonna need a scout now, to find the golds that are out here. He's actually got some right close by, he just doesn't know where they are. And Dow now has a few archers into MBL's wood line, and could pick off a few hills here. But... He's going to take his time. He doesn't want to rush into this and lose his army. He's going to pick off one bill. And he's going to micro his army around. Against the skirms that are on this hill, it's going to be hard to fight with these archers. But he could do a lot of damage. And the faster firing speed is really helping him here. He's going to micro around and shoot faster. Reload time is decreased, so he can move and then fire and move and fire a lot faster than normally would be able to. And he's over here with more archers while he's distracting with these ones. So he's doing a nice job of splitting up his army here and maximizing the damage he can do. However, he has not scouted the other goals, and this has forced him to transition into skirms. And that's not really all that ideal, as the skirms won't be able to take down the villagers. In fact, the villagers could probably fight them off just fine. And he's running out with villagers now, he's trying to find some goals. I think he should find it with this one, and be just fine. Yeah, he's found some now, but he's up late enough that... He's kind of losing his uh, advantage with the archers. Now, the skirms do fire faster as well. It's just not as effective as archers would be. And it, it's kind of a position he doesn't want to be in. Now, it might not be so bad if MBL continues to come up with archer, or, uh, skirms. But, I don't know, it's going to slow him down on his castle time, for sure. And, he's coming out with these bills. He's actually built a lumber camp. And, has foregone mining that gold. Really interesting decision. 
I'm not sure what his plan is. Might just be fully committing to these terms. To fight off MBLs. But he's going to be fighting uphill. And he's going to be out tacked as well. MBL did get the armor upgrade. Which Doubt does not have. However, Doubt is here. And he's cutting off villager reinforcements. But again, Skirms do so little damage against villagers that NBL is actually using his villagers on mini shields. That's that's something. I don't I don't even know what to say. He he doesn't even care. It's just like you're gonna throw all your javelins you want. They they don't even they don't even tickle. But NBL is really using these men at arms. He's definitely getting full value out of these things. He's raiding with them, he's denying houses, he's forcing, or he's idling these villagers, and Downs are now back on gold. But he's only got two there, so he's really not all that concerned with getting more archers out. He's instead going to build a stable and come up with scouts to counter these archers. Which, I don't think Abiel saw that stable there. Yeah, he did not. So, he does not know this is coming. But, he will be able to make spearmen to counter those. And they are faster. I think it's 15% faster for all of Kelt's infantry, but he's actually coming out with more men-at-arms. This is really interesting. He's coming out with those to fight off the Skirms, and look at this. He's just charging in with these villagers. Now, Dow does have enough Skirms here that they will be able to pick off these villagers, but completely unupgraded men-at-arms, and he's sending them out to attack these Skirms. Interesting. I don't quite agree with that. He should probably upgrade his man at arms if he wants to do that. Which. Taking into man at arms isn't the best idea. Because with Doubt being back on gold, he can just afford to make more archers to counter the man at arms. But he's using the ones he's got as meat shields. And that's just having to micro around. Which he's actually doing a decent job at. And right away he did pick off quite a few servants there, really. And he's running in with these scouts, but MBL was ready for that. Got a spear out beforehand and managed to pick off a scout. And Doubt does have the attack for them. Oh wait, no he doesn't. No, 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 no. These are unupgraded. The plus two attack comes from advancing to Feudalage. But MBL is on his way up to the Castle Age. Doubt is nowhere near Castle. And this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a big problem. MBL's playing defensive, which means back at home, he's managed to build all of these farms and builds his way up to Castle Age long before Doubt has. Doubt's got quite a few farms of his own, but he's used all the food to make scouts, and he's continuing to do so. And I think Doubt's going to realize his mistake once MBL gets this castle upgrade. And Doubt is raiding. He's doing a decent job of raiding. He does have the villager lead, but the tech from MBL is going to come in. And I don't know if he has enough for a castle. I don't think he does. He did use stone for a tower there, which is a good spot for it. Defends his gold, defends his woodline. But Dad is going to run in, and he's trying to do as much damage as he can before his castle attack comes in. And MBL now at 
castle. Gonna get elite skirm and barn can hero. Well, let's get a fourth then. And Doubt is now in trouble. He's coming up with more archers. Most of his economy is up on the top here, which MBL doesn't actually see. He doesn't know that's there. Doesn't know any of this is there, actually. He does see these villagers though for Doubt. Doubt does have quite a few on stone. This is kind of interesting. He's built the tower up there as well. And Doubt's coming forward with these archers. And he's gonna kill at least a couple bills here. Ooh, that one actually just barely getting away. One went down. That one on one HP. But Doubt's just gonna loop around here with these villagers and just be obnoxious. As much as he can. Siege Workshop, now coming out for MBL, will be able to get out of Megan L and do some serious damage. But Doubt did lose quite a few of, uh, of his herbs here, so there's not all of that need for the time being for Megan L, but he is going to want some out in preparation for the crossbow that are going to come out and to take down these towers. So the Meganos are going to be coming out. He's defending back at home with some skirms, forcing Doubt away. Doubt's now going up to the castle stage. MPL is only on one TC right now though. He did make that tower and he's just now sent bills over to stone so he can afford to make a TC and might want to save up for a cast to put on front here. Would be a very good defense plate. And also if he were to come out with woe graders, they'd be pretty strong. And I'm just gonna fight here with these scouts. And I actually did pick off a couple of skirms with those. And now Doubt has quite a few archers back up. And another stable going up for him, so he's going to be coming out with knights to counter the skirms from MEL. He's gonna get crossbow, he's gonna come out with knights, he's gonna get bodkin arrow. And uh Bosa. And then he's gonna have quite a scary army. And the TC is going up there for MBL, but it's gonna be denied. Doubt came in at a beautiful time. Going to deny the TC, going to put a tower up to further deny it. And now MBL is but the knights are already coming out for doubt. He's only two. And there we go. So now we have is gonna push this side and make it town center over on this side. He's gonna get both of them up. I think build that a bit closer to the gold would have been better. But that's just barely not gonna kill that ram. And they could. But no, he came out with his villagers too late. He's gonna lose the tower, he's going to lose the stone. And I was gonna town center the middle up there. Back at home, no point for a town center over here. There's really no resources that are worth putting a town center next to. So they're just gonna put their town centers in the middle. Doubt has a lot of crossbow here. And MBL does not have the gold for Megan L. Oh, woo woo woo. Dead villager there. But, and Dad's raiding. He's, do he's doing an alright job at this. He's got knights to cut off any reinforcements of villagers with his knights. He's got more knights coming in. 
and Epi's got quite a few spearmen out. They are able to chase down the knights, or not chase them down, but they're able to keep up a lot better because of that uh, speed bonus. But down to going up to the Imperial Age. Whoa! Down's going to Imp, and MBL is nowhere near. They switch roles now. Dow made a lot less military than MBL did. MBL is focusing more on economy. It's up to four town centers now. Whereas Dow is only on two. Huh. This is gonna get interesting. Dow. I don't think he is the stone beast. He's got quite a bit of stone. But if he's the stone for a castle, and comes out with show tells, this is gonna get really crazy really fast. And MBL is asking if Doubt's up. And he's like, yeah man, I'm at 50%. And he actually is. And MBL noticed that because of the score drop. <laughs> Doubt, be nice. Like, come on man, that's uncalled for. Uh, but Dow has had the score lead for most of this game, and MBL just glancing down and seeing that Dow's score dropped is up to the Imperial Age. And MBL is going to be in better trouble. Dow now buying stone, so he is committing to this castle. He's going to put it right down here. Yeah, there it is. It's going to hit the Imperial Age. And what is MBL's response going to be? I don't think he has one. Really? Arbalest now for Doubt. I really hope he comes out with Showtells. Because, honestly, Showtells could completely wreck everything MBL has. They could take out all these terms. If he gets about 20 of them, they could even take out town centers. That is, that is one of my favorite strategies in the game. Is to build up a small army of Showtells, run into the enemy base, take out the town center, and run away. It's so dumb, but it's so much fun. And Doubt has his castle up, doesn't have the resources to start making Showtells, because he did take into Arbalest. And it's raiding on this side, it's moving in on this side. Trebuchet comes out. And. Ooh, just barely going to keep that man alive. And now, MBL's in a bit of trouble. Actually, he's in a lot of trouble. He did get a decent shot on this crossbow. Or Arbalest. But he doesn't have any response to these traps. He really can't fight this. And he really won't be able to until he gets some Wood Raiders out, but he's just gonna call the GG. He's too far away from Imp to do anything. So, what was done from Doubt? I really was concerned at his game plan once he was up so late to castle. But he went up to the Imperial Age pretty quickly. And it's just able to outtech MBL. Really didn't have a solution to these trebs. Arbalest, just too strong. But well done for both of them. That makes the score 2 0 for Doubt. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you amazing people. And I'll see you all in the next video.